Civil War tokens are token coins that were privately minted and distributed in the United States between 1861 and 1864. They were used mainly in the Northeast and Midwest. The widespread use of the tokens was a result of the scarcity of government issued cents during the Civil War. Civil War tokens became illegal after the United States Congress passed a law on April 22, 1864 prohibiting the issue of any one or two cent coins, tokens or devices for use as currency. On June 8, 1864 an additional law was passed that forbade all private coinage. Civil War tokens are divided into three types. Store cards, patriotic tokens, and sutler tokens. All three types were utilized as currency, and are differentiated by their designs. The collectible value of the tokens is determined chiefly by their rarity. History By 1862, the second year of the Civil War, government-issued coinage began vanishing from circulation. American citizens hoarded all coins with gold and silver, and eventually began hoarding copper nickel cents as well. This made it extremely difficult for businesses to conduct transactions. In response, many merchants turned to private minters to fill the void left by the hoarded coins. The first of these privately minted tokens appeared in the autumn of 1862, by H. A. Ratterman, in Cincinnati, Ohio. New York issues followed in the spring of 1863, first with Lindenmuller currency store card tokens issued by New York City barkeep Gustavus Lindenmuller and then with Knickerbocker currency patriotic tokens issued by William H. Bridgens. It is estimated that by 1864, there were 25 million Civil War tokens nearly all redeemable for one cent in circulation, consisting of approximately 7,000 to 8,000 varieties. Lindenmuller currency, or Lindenmuller tokens are one of the best known and commonly struck types were store cards. Lindenmuller had more than one million of his one cent tokens struck and placed into circulation in 1863. One of the common uses for the token was for streetcar fare. The Third Avenue Railroad Company of New York, which had willingly accepted a large quantity of the Lindenmuller tokens in lieu of actual currency, asked Lindenmuller to redeem them. He refused, and the railroad had no legal recourse. Incidents such as these eventually forced the government to intervene. On April 22, 1864, Congress enacted the Coinage Act of 1864. While the act is most remembered for the introduction of the phrase, In God We Trust, on the newly created two cent piece, it also effectively ended the usage of Civil War tokens. In addition to authorizing the minting of the two cent piece, the act changed the composition of the one cent piece from a copper nickel alloy weighing 4.67 grams to a lighter, less thick piece composed of 95% copper weighing 3.11 grams. The new one cent piece was much closer in weight to the Civil War tokens, and found greater acceptance among the public. While the Coinage Act made Civil War tokens impractical, the issue of their legality was decided on June 8, 1864, when Congress enacted 18 U.S.C. Section 486, which made the minting and usage of non government issued coins punishable by a fine of up to $2,000, a prison term of up to five years, or both. Chapter 25 of Title 18 deals specifically with counterfeit and forgery. It did not make it illegal to own Civil War tokens, however, and evidence exists that the tokens were viewed as collectibles as early as 1863, when the first known listings of Civil War tokens were published. <laughs> Topic. Types Patriotic tokens Patriotic Civil War tokens typically displayed a patriotic slogan or image on one or both sides. Since the majority of these tokens were minted in Union states, the slogans and images were decidedly pro-Union. Some common examples of slogans found on patriotic tokens are, The Union must and shall be preserved. Union forever. And, Old Glory. Some of the images found on patriotic tokens were the flag of the United States, a 19th century cannon, and the USS Monitor. Among the best known varieties of patriotic tokens are the so called Dix tokens. They are named for John Adams Dix, who served as Secretary of the Treasury in 1861. 
In a letter from Dix to a revenue cutter captain, Lieutenant Caldwell, he orders Caldwell to relieve another cutter captain of his command for refusing an order to transfer from New Orleans to New York City. The letter ends with the following sentence. If any one attempts to haul down the American flag, shoot him on the spot. The quote found its way to a number of patriotic tokens, albeit with a slightly modified wording. Haul down is usually replaced by tear it down. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Store cards. Civil War store cards differ from patriotic tokens in that one or both sides displays the name and or location of a privately owned business. Businesses that could afford it had two custom dies made, with both advertising the business. Otherwise, only one side displayed the business's information. <laughs> <laughs> Subtler tokens Subtler tokens are similar to store cards. Rather than listing the name of a private business, however, these tokens bore the name of a particular army unit usually a regiment and the name of the sutler who conducted transactions with the regiment. Of the three types of Civil War tokens, sutler tokens are by far the rarest. <laughs> <laughs> Collectible value There are several factors that determine the collectible value of Civil War tokens. The main factor is rarity, which is measured on a scale from 1 to 10 1 being the most common type. The scale was developed by noted numismatic dealer and writer George Fold. The material used to mint Civil War tokens can also affect collectability. Civil War tokens were minted using a variety of materials, copper being a common choice often actually bronze. Other materials used for minting were nickel, tin, German silver, white metal, and silver. Examples of tokens minted using rubber are also known to exist. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Fold rarity scale. R1 greater than 5000. R2 between 2000 and 5000. R3 between 500 and 2000. R4, between 200 and 500 R5, between 76 and 200 R6, between 21 and 75 R7, between 11 and 20 R8, between 5 and 10 R9, between 2 and 4 R10, unique one known example Topic. Notes and references Topic. External links The Civil War Token Society G.W. Forbes Civil War Sutler Token Civil War Tokens – Store Cards Broken link as of December 2013 Rare Civil War Sutler Coins Chappelle Manuscript Foundation Civil War Token Resources High-resolution photographs of Civil War token types